Nicole Kidman's remarkable journey in the world of entertainment was shaped by her unique background and early experiences. Born on June 20, 1967, in Honolulu, Hawaii, Nicole Kidman's story is one of diverse heritage, family values, and an innate talent that would propel her to international fame. Nicole's birth in Hawaii held special significance as her Australian parents were temporarily residing in the United States on student visas at the time. Her mother, a nursing instructor with a strong commitment to social issues, was an active member of the women's electoral lobby. Her father, Anthony Kidman, was a multi-talented individual with a background in biochemistry, clinical psychology, and authorship. Nicole Kidman's family extended to her younger sister, Antonia Kidman, who would later become a journalist and TV presenter. With a family that was deeply connected by both blood and shared values, Nicole's upbringing was filled with diverse experiences that enriched her perspective. Her dual citizenship of Australia and the United States was a result of her birth in Hawaii to Australian parents. Nicole Kidman and Tom Cruise met while both on the edge of fame. Neither of them had reached the fame they know today, but they were relatively well-known. Their marriage quickly gained attention. They had one of the most high-profile marriages in the 1990s and experienced immense career success, too. However, one thing missing from their life was children, which the couple found they couldn't bring into the world themselves. Kidman and Cruz tied the knot in 1990 when Kidman was 23. She revealed that she was naive then and relied on Cruz for many things, leading to the couple becoming heavily dependent on one another. When Kidman fell pregnant and suffered an ectopic pregnancy and subsequent miscarriage, which doctors said would mean she was not likely to fall pregnant again, the couple knew they wanted to start a family one way or another so they adopted a daughter named Bella in 1992. In 1995, they expanded their family again with their son, Connor. In December 2000, the couple celebrated their 10th anniversary as a married couple with friends and loved ones. Kidman admitted she thought their life was perfect, yet Cruz announced he was leaving Kidman two months after their anniversary. Kidman did not know why her marriage ended and pleaded with Cruz to stay with her. When asked why he ended the marriage, Cruz said Kidman knew why. The actress said she found it difficult to heal from the pain her divorce caused her. Seven months after Cruz announced he would be leaving Kidman, their divorce was finalized, with the agreement being that they would share custody of Bella and Connor. Yet, while Kidman moved back to her native Australia, their children remained in L.A. full-time with their father. Cruz raised his children in the Church of Scientology, of which he is also a member. Bella and Connor have become high-ranking members of the faith, which reportedly views their mother as a suppressive person, driving a wedge between them. Bella has trained as an auditor in the faith, which equates to the role of a counselor for people in spiritual distress. She once thanked her dad for providing her with the missing piece she had been searching for in her faith by raising her under the Church of Scientology. While Kidman's divorce from Cruz and her children's faith are of public knowledge, she prefers to keep everything else about her children with Cruz as low-key as possible. She once shared. I am very private about all that. I have to protect all those relationships. I know 150% that I would give up my life for my children because it's what my purpose is. When asked what she thought of her children being Scientologists, Kidman said they were adults who had made their own choices, and her only job was to love them and to let her children know that she was there for them no matter what. 
The Moulin Rouge actress added that her job as a mother was to offer unconditional love to her children no matter how often they spoke to her or how their religion affected her relationship with them. In 2015, Cruz and Kidman's daughter exchanged vows with her beloved in a secret ceremony. After the event, news of Bella's marriage surfaced, and what was more shocking than the wedding was that Bella's parents were not in attendance. There was little speculation as to why Cruz wasn't there, but rumors soon began swirling about why Kidman failed to attend. One of the reasons raised was the reported strained relationship Kidman had with her children due to their affinity to Scientology. However, Bella dispelled the allegations. In fact, she admitted that she and her mother spoke often and said anyone who thought she wouldn't talk to her parents was wrong. Cruz reportedly didn't attend his daughter's wedding because of work, and Kidman didn't participate because she didn't want to cause a media circus. Bella's husband, Max, who is not a member of Bella's church, confirmed that neither of his parents attended his nuptials too. They feared their attendance would have caused the private wedding to become public knowledge. Bella and Max's wedding guest list comprised only their closest and most trusted friends. The happy couple's parents have not even met yet. When Max's mother, Beverly Parker, was asked if she wanted to meet Cruz and Kidman, she said, No, no, there's no need for that. At the end of the day, they're just people, aren't they? Parker also said Bella was trying to escape Hollywood by moving to England to be with Max. Although Max and Bella are now happily married, Max confessed that he never asked Cruz's permission to propose to Bella. However, he said that he and his father-in-law have since patched things up, and both Bella's parents have embraced him as their daughter's husband and part of their families. While Max and Bella have a good relationship with Bella's parents, they will not accept their help. When the couple married, Bella's parents offered them financial support. However, Bella and Max rejected the offer, saying they wanted independence and to escape the spotlight. Max and Bella now live in a one-bedroom apartment with other tenants in a converted terrace house. Bella shares a relationship with both her mother and father, despite rumors to the contrary. Chúng ta đã cùng nhau khám phá những câu chuyện thú vị và đáng chú ý về các ngôi sao hấp dẫn. Nếu bạn thích nội dung video của chúng tôi và muốn tiếp tục nhận thông tin mới nhất về các ngôi sao đừng quên đăng ký like và để lại comment ở phần bình luận bên dưới chúng tôi rất trân trọng mọi ý kiến đóng góp của các bạn để cải thiện chất lượng nội dung trong tương lai hãy chia sẻ ý kiến hoặc gợi ý thắc mắc mà bạn có thể cho chúng tôi những thông tin chính xác hơn trong những video tiếp theo cảm ơn bạn đã dành thời gian theo dõi video này Hãy nhấn like và để lại comment ngay bây giờ để chúng tôi biết rằng bạn đã thích nội dung này. Đừng quên subscribe kênh của chúng tôi để không bỏ lỡ bất kỳ thông tin hấp dẫn nào về các ngôi sao trong tương lai. Hẹn gặp lại các bạn trong những video tiếp theo. Chúc mọi người một ngày vui vẻ và thú vị.